Kevin Rudd, thank you very much for being here on WPC TV. You're a former Prime Minister of Australia, now President of the Asia Policy Institute in New York. Famously, you are a very fluent speaker of Mandarin. How do you view the evolution of China, not in the past, but in the future? What is going to happen to this emerging superpower, I suppose? Well, I should say being able to speak Chinese doesn't necessarily enable you to understand China. But I've certainly been in and out of the country now for about 30 years. And I've seen the comings and goings of many Chinese politicians. If you step back from all of that and project out, let's just say 10 years, uh, and that's a vigorous time horizon. Uh, what I see is a Chinese Communist Party still strongly in power. I see uh, a strengthened Xi Jinping leadership uh, even open to the possibility... So he will go beyond the normal tenure? Even possibly going beyond the normal tenure. Uh, I see a country whose economic transformation program will not be universally successful, but sufficiently successful to continue to grow the economy at something north of 5%, which for a country of 1.4 billion, as it will be, uh, is a reasonable achievement. <clears throat> and the open question I have and I don't know the answer to this, is the extent to which China will have turned the corner on the question of environmental sustainability, uh, air pollution and climate change. Uh, the policies are beginning to be in place. I don't know how effective they're going to be. And on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the most optimistic, where would you be on that particular issue? Well, it's squarely on a 5, because the um, policy architecture is quite reasonable. But having had a little experience of public administration myself, <coughs> there's a saying in Chinese, there's a saying in Chinese which uh, could apply anywhere in the world, which is shang yao zheng ci, xia yao dui ci, which means above they have policies, below we have counter policies, <laughs> which is essentially what uh, provincial and municipal government is all about. Where's the wisdom <laughs> from a real politician? <laughs> Kevin Rudd, thank you very much. Oh, actually, a final question. How do you find the World Policy Conference? Do you find it useful for you? Or? Well, I think it's a good gathering because uh, the thematic uh, of global governance, even though it sounds horribly wonky, uh, sits across the top of something which is now deeply real for us all, which is do the institutions of uh, global institutional management, uh, are they sufficient uh, for purpose to deal in any way effectively with the global challenges of the 21st century. What I worry about, to be blunt, is whether we end up as an international community just falling between two stools, <clears throat> weakened national governments because they can't deal with the transnational agenda, and insufficiently strong tr transnational institutions, uh, insufficiently empowered to deal with the transnational problems. And then that caters even more for a disgruntled constituency who are now migrating to the political extremes. It's a very sobering prospect. Kevin Rudd, thank you very much for being with us. Good to be with you.